Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about inserting image in your HTML page. So this is the website that we were building in the previous class. We were learning about the tags like HTML, head, title, body, all those things. Then we learned about the paragraph tag, empty tag, container tags background, BG color, face, alignment, all these things. In the last video, we learned about list items, how to create the ordered list, unordered list, all these things. In this class, we're going to learn how to insert image. So let's say after Ogi, over here, I want an image. Um, let's say I want to take this image. Okay. So I will copy the image address. Now this is the source of the image. And where I want it? After the Ogi. That means here. So in the, uh, I want it in the heading 1 here. So after Ogi, I will create image tag. IMG. It is empty tag. It doesn't have closing tag. Okay, just have the opening tag. We do not close it like this. No, this is empty tag, not container tag. So IMG is a tag. Now it has some attributes. The first attribute is source of the image. So let's say the source is what I copied from here by clicking right and copy the image address and I pasted it. So you can see image over here, Augie and the cockroaches, right? Now, I want to make it little small. According to me, it's little big. So I will change its width to let's say 50 pixels and height also to 50 pixels. So source, SRC, source, width, Height, these are the attributes of the tag image. Now you can see its width and height is changed. Next is alignment. I can align it top, bottom, middle, left, right. Let's see all the five alignment. So align, let's say I want to do top. Now you can see the changes here. It is the top alignment. Next I will do bottom. This is, it will get changed. This is bottom alignment. I want to do left. Now this is left alignment. I want to do right. So this is right of the text alignment. If I want it in the middle, it will be in mid of the text here. Okay. Now let's say I want image to be after the heading. Ogi and the cockroaches over here, I want the image. So I don't want it in between the text. So I will take my image tag. My title is as it is, like this. After the title, after the heading, I will put the image tag. You can check out our image tag. Source, width, height, alignment. Just remove the alignment. Because we want the alignment to align it according to the text. Right? Now, let's see. It's after the Augie and the cockroaches over here. I want it bigger. I want the width to be 70% of the screen and the height to be 40% of the screen. Now let's check out. You can see this is Ogi and the cockroaches. This is the image. Okay, so height is quite big. So let's change it to 300 pixels. Now let's check. Yeah, it's better. Now, I want it in the center of the screen. Now, it's not alignment. 
we need to use center tag before the image and after the image so i will start it and i will end it after the image over here so now you can see it's in the center so this is how you use img tag so img is the tag we have learned src source width height alignment of the image tag all these attributes if you want some other image you can just take it you can right click it copy the image address and change the address over here so i changed it now the image will also be changed okay so this is how you use image tag img tag is empty tag it's not a container tag it doesn't have empty tag at all so in the next video we are going to learn about tables right how to create table in your website how to put data in it how to make those cell borders and all those things so we'll meet in the next video make sure you do it by yourself you practice a lot then only you will get to know it better otherwise you are just keep seeing the videos but you do not get the essence of how to do it okay thank you class and we'll meet in the next video bye bye